After this fire at the Cobblestone Ale House in Keene earlier this month, president of the local firefighters union, Dan Noel, started looking into the log of fire code violations in the city. He and his peers found over 1,000 violations, some dating back to 2016. Do I believe that those are actually 1,000 actual individual violations? Do we feel that that's what's going on? Probably not. Noel points to software issues as reason for the backlog, saying inspection data was not syncing with the firehouse's computer system. And saying, I don't feel as an adequate thing of resources, especially when we have this, this, this cadre of professionals at the state level that can come in and really be a true asset at no cost. But he still believes there may be some, and the union feels it's worth going to each location to check them out. The only issue is that process could take weeks, especially with an understaffed department. But help could be on the way if the state fire marshal's office decides to send a strike team to Keene. We have a staff of inspectors and investigators within our office that are able to assist. Fire Marshal Sean Toomey says he's been in contact with the Keene Department and will be meeting with their chief on Monday to discuss issues and the possibility of sending a strike team. Number one step would be identify what the violations are, uh, work with the owner, uh, and give them reasonable time to correct the violation. Now, if the state fire marshal's office does send a strike team of 20 inspectors to Keene, we're told that all those fire code issues could be resolved in just a matter of days and it wouldn't cost the city any money. However, a strike team has only been assembled once in the last 20 years. Live in the newsroom, Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.